in the late 40s and early 50s, the hardcover publishers began to put out science fiction novels. Science fiction began to appear with increasing frequency in soft covers, the paperbacks. And there were new magazines. One, the magazine of fantasy and science fiction, originally just the magazine of fantasy, appeared in 1949. And another, Galaxy, appeared in 1950. The former was under the editorship of J. Francis McComas and Anthony Boucher. The second was under the editorship of Horace Gold. Both represented reactions to Campbell's astounding. The magazine of fantasy and science fiction emphasized literary quality, style. Uh, the mere fact that they had the word fantasy in the title showed they were less interested in strict science fiction. Horace Gold was interested in more in the reaction to scientific advance than to the scientific advance itself, which made, in some cases, for more sophisticated stories. These were not Campbell-type stories. Once again, the center of interest had moved away from scientists themselves towards society. It wasn't back to the adventurous hero. It was towards society. The science fiction magazines not only served as a source of science fiction, but also as a proving ground for science fiction writers. A magazine that comes out every month and has to have four or five short stories in every issue offers an unexampled opportunity for the, uh, for the writing amateur to practice on and eventually make his mark. Uh, in addition, another indication of the broadening scope of science fiction acceptance is the fact that hardcover and softcover publications of science fiction increased steadily through the 1960s. In television, too, there have been increasing examples of science fiction, of which the best, obviously, I say obviously because to me it's obvious, was Star Trek, which for three seasons gathered an enormous following, not enough to keep it on indefinitely, nothing can stay on television indefinitely, but certainly much larger than the magazines ever had. Indeed, the magazines themselves were directly complete, competed with in a new way. Increasingly, there are collections of original stories appearing in anthology form uh, in soft covers or even in hard covers, and more and more, these are appearing periodically. For instance, Dame and Night at its orbit, which is a collection of original science fiction stories. Robert Silverberg is now going to put out an annual collection of original science fiction stories published by Doubleday. Uh, this is important because one needs to have uh, what we might call room for education of science fiction writers.